Dot ready. Both of these runners are ready. Dude, I'm nervous for these runners because everyone who makes it past round one is like, they're in it, right? That's it. They're, they're, they're in it. Okay. Yo, computer, what's up? Would you rather dot, dot, dot? All right, now they are ready. Now they are ready. Okay, I am ready as well. All right, yo, Krantz, welcome back for eight months. Thank you, but now's not the time. Thank you very much. Let's get this on the go. All right, they are ready. Have either runner used their lifeline? I don't remember. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, they got the goes. They got the goes. Who's gonna go first here? We got Bagler's audio. Okay. We're gonna start with Bagler here. Beautiful, Bagler's got great audio. All right, we're starting hot in one one. Bagler messing up right at the start, Gungeon Lover. He's taking that little advice there to stop doing the big jump on the turtle. I don't even know if he still did it, but that's what I like to see. No more turtle jumps in 1-1. One, one. That's what I'd love to see. And neither runner has used their lifeline yet. Very nice. Gungeon not going to be able to get early P-Speed here. And Bagler is going to be uh, just a little bit behind him, but Bagler does get early P-Speed. And watch how important early P-Speed is in this level. He has already caught up. Look at how close they are. Oh man, that's so close. However, Gunjin is going to have a little bit easier fortress here. Gunjin is going to have a little bit of an easier fortress here. Um, so Bagler is behind by a little bit. Oh. Nice. He's going to be able to fly up. Bagler also going to be able to do the quick strat. Fly up over. Very nice. I like it, I like it. Beep, 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 beep. All right, movement of one. Gungeon's gonna be able to save a little bit of time there if Bagler gets a movement of two and he's forced to get a movement of two, but he fights him early. Ooh, not gonna go for the 0.5 time save, jumping on top and stomping him. Gungeon Lover gonna go for the MFP tunnel. Doesn't quite make it. This is a chance for Gungeon to catch up. Not in time, but in points. Points are way bigger than time. So let's see if Gungeon Lover can get the MFP tunnel. We've seen him do it before. Oh, and he hit his foot at the at the top there, or whatever, on the side. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right, one six, looking good. One six looking good so far. Nothing too crazy. He's gonna go to the Mushroom Mask Gungeon. Does he get the Leaf? Oh, and he gets the Mushroom. Boo! The Gungeon Lover not having the best World 1 so far in terms of points. Uh, and he's ahead in time, so Bagler can uh, get it here. What does he get? Oh, he's going for chest number 3, and it's gonna give him a flower. Gungeon gonna go for the... And he does not get it. Bagler gonna go for it. And he gets it. So the first thing awarded so far in this tournament is Bagler getting the throne jump. And neither runner getting anything else in this world. So we're gonna go down to world two. Now remember, you wanna enter world two with the fire flower to start your world one or world two, world three fire flower. Very nice, very nice. So, it's interesting to see this because Bagler within two games got 33 points in round one and Gungeon Lover within two games got, I think, 16 points. And that's a big difference between these two runners, but if you look and see, they're tied right now. Gungeon Lover's ahead in time, so, right? There's a couple RNG points here and there, a couple accidental deaths, right? We don't want to see any of those things. Just simply not dying in these races goes a long way. 
Nope, Gungeon should definitely just continue for the stomp kill. Yep, there's no point in cleaning up any fireballs. And Bagler is going to take the lead in time right there with a faster kill. Very nice for Bagler. Very nice for Bagler. Yep, there's a there's like a rule of thumb there. If like if you're fire if you're fire flowering the boss and it's like not going well for the first stomp, you might as well just go for the stomp, right? And what happened to Gungeon, I think, is because he bumped on the overworld map, I don't think he was prepared for the pattern he got. Alright, Bagler's gonna be the first one to enter 2-1. Nothing too crazy in this level, but it's been known to take take a little bit. Very nice on Bagler's side. Gunjin, he, he's got his little clip-through strat. That's uh, a little bit slower, but I mean, if it's safe and comfy for him, then it works. Ooh, the quick turn back. Nice. All right, let's see. We've seen some big splits here with these spade card games. So let's see what happens. All right, he's going to get the fire flower. He's going to get the stars. He's going to get the 10 bucks. Gunjin Lover knows where his 10 bucks are. Bagler's going to get out of there right now. Very nice. So Bagler and Gunjin both have their 10 bucks. Gunjin looking at his cheat sheet, taking a little too long here. Taking a little too long here. And Bagler not falling in the moat. That's going to be good. It's going to be good. Gunjin's going to hope that he doesn't fall in the moat as well. Nice, he's gonna take it easy. He's not gonna wanna use slide strat. You can almost die using the slide strat. Very nice, Gungeon does that. Bagler with the early P speed in the fortress, not easy to do, man. Especially in races, it's, it's one of those things where like, you're not gonna win by getting early P speed in the fortress. So it's like, you could take an easier route, less stressful, but th these guys are in it to win it. All right, I think Gungeon, yes, we're gonna see Gungeon do the easier strat I was just referring to. Very nice. Very nice. Bagler with the fire kill. They are not far from each other. Tied in score as well. RNG points here could definitely, definitely change it up. Ooh. Bagler hasn't fought any Hammer Brothers yet, so we don't know what he's gonna do, but we do know he's gonna go for Red Rocket. There's been some very confusing Red Rockets in the last few races, but it's a good thing we have them we have all the points set in stone for round two following the rest of the tournament. This is good. Oh, he almost didn't get in there, but he does secure the red rocket, giving him the six point. All right, Gungeon Lover, does he get a backwards moving bro? He does not, so he's not going to be awarded that point. Oof. Some RNG points coming in hot. Not being very nice. Bagley's going to get an opportunity soon to fight his first hammer brother. And Gungeon really, really needs to not miss red rocket. He's going to wait a little bit. Give himself some P-Speed time. Very nice. Very nice. I understand exactly why he would do something like that. Sometimes the P-Speed does not work in that level, and it's it's really, really annoying. He does get it, though. Very nice. He does get it. Gets the Red Rocket. All right. Bagler still doesn't get an opportunity to fight a Hammer Brother. But he's about a level and a little bit ahead here. Alright, nice. I would also recommend everyone do 2-5 if they're not comfortable with 2-4. I probably would do 2-4 in races and stuff. I think I have before in GDQs and whatnot. I'm just... I, I know very well some of the punishments here. And uh, I think this is going to be rough here for Gungeon Lover because he has to get this Hammer Brother right now. It is the Hammer and he could get blocked by the Spade game and that would just cost him a lot of time. And of course, the one minute I look away, Bagler does his hammer brother. Was Bagler's hammer brother backwards or forwards? Oh, Bagler knocking the turtle. That's going to be good. So Bagler does get the backwards, bro, for the first one. Very nice. Thank you very much, chat. Thank you very much. Alright, Bagler having a little bit of troubles. See, and exactly what I was talking about. Gungeon kind of getting gated here. This is why, if I was in this tournament, from what I've determined from round one, I would actually wait to use the spade card game. 
so that if anything weird happens, I can always just do it right after the sun level and then either get the hammer brother or I've already fought the hammer brother. And Pegler gets forward moving bro, so he's not going to be awarded that point either. So both runners are in a very good situation. They're tied, but Gungeon Lover is just, just bleeding a little too much time in comparison. Uh, Gungeon is hoping for good RNG here. I never trust the World 2 Bros, so hopefully he gets lucky here, and he does not. So he's got to go back, and he's also got to do the spade card game. Very unfortunate. Lucky for him, he could just do the... Yep, just get that out of the way, and he's good to go. Ooh, Gungeon gets both forward bros. Rip. Oh, that's a big time loss there. Missing that chest a couple seconds. Not only does it spawn on the wrong side, so you have to run over there, but like it, it relies on your ability to pick up on the fact that it did spawn on the wrong side, and then you have to react to it. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. Yeah, so Gungeon is definitely be bleeding a lot of time. It, it seems that the Bagler is a very fast player uh, compared to Gungeon, but we don't know how the points are gonna go. We don't know how the points are gonna go. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty exciting. Alright, both on the airship. How's chat doing? The Bagler does have two throne jumps, that is correct. The double throne jumps. He's gonna go for the fire kill. Alright, neither one got the backwards bros. Will Bagler be the first one to get the throne jumps? Will he be the first one to get the thrones? Will Bagler be the first to get the thrones? All right, here we go. Coming up, first person for the shared points, Bagler. He really needs to get this frame jump. He has not collected as many points as I think he did before. So hopefully, and neither runner has lost their fire flower yet too, but they don't know that. So Bagler needs this jump. He does not get it. Ooh. I hope Gungeon Lover's been practicing his points. Alright, here we go. Gungeon Lover's on his way. Very nice. World 3. Some hot points in World 3. Oh my god, are their timers perfectly synced? No. Oh, close. They're off by like, what, 0.4 it almost looks like? Bagler going for very fast strategies in 3-2. Tough, tough stuff. Gungeon Lover, I think, just got the frame jump. That looked like a frame jump. Gungeon Lover with the frame jump gets the shared points and look at that, just like that. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I saw the jump there. Oh, he got it all right. Very nice. Bagler is also far from Runaway Bro. He, ooh, and Gungeon Lover also gets the opposite of what's good for Runaway. Gungeon Lover not going to be able to do the fast P speed. Oh, no, Bagler having a little bit of troubles. He's He wants to be the frog suit. He's been practicing the frog suit. He's dying for the frog suit. But not quite. He's just in and out of that water. No frog suit here. No frog suit here. Magnus probably not going to get Runaway, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, no, he can't at this point. Gungeon Lover, on the other hand, can. All right, Bagler, let's see what you got. Door four, come on, buddy, you can do it, you can do it. Ah, oh, come on, you had it. You had it, dude. Oh no, Gungeon Lover having the same problem. Gotta take it easy, do it slow. Get through it, watch out for coin ships. I don't think he's in coin ship range, nope. <laughs> Collecting all those coins, he was almost in coin ship range. But when he beats a level, it's either going to be a 3 in his 10s digit or an 8. So he he's okay, even if he got 77. He's okay. Wow, Gungeon catching up a little bit. Hammer Brother, ooh, and they're in the same spot. Not going to be able to get Runaway here. Oh, box his head. That looked intentional almost. All right, Gungeon Lover going to go for door 4. Does not get door 4. It looked like he moved with his D-pad left and right instead of pressing up. So 
I think it, uh, all hope was lost there for door four for him, unfortunately. Ooh, P-Speed does get it, though. Door six, though. Ooh, door six is tough, guys. Why well, you gotta watch out for door six? Gungeon Lover or Bagler is gonna go. This is so risky for him. He's gonna try and go for the runaway, but if he doesn't, he loses a point. This is a very interesting strategy, and it pays off. He does get it. Wow, that was crazy. He's gonna use the music box and he's gonna cross. He does get runaway, bro. Whoops. Wow, look at that. The strats paid off, but that is gonna lose him a good chunk of time. Where I think Gungeon Lover is just going to use the... What's he going to do? What's he going to do here? What's Gungeon going to do here? Oh, Music Box List! He is saving a lot of time right here. Gungeon Lover is saving a lot of time. He doesn't get run away. Uh, he is down a point, though, based on that. But that just ties it up. And just like that, Gungeon Lover has taken the lead here. Very nice. That is drastically going to help him in the long run. Neither runner has taken damage yet, so they are still tied. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, the screen shake. We're good. I brought it back. Easy. Easy strats. That's happened to me before. Oh, Gungeon not getting the H jump. This is a great opportunity for Bagler to catch back up. Bagler really needs to get this H jump. Really needs to get it. Bagler not getting the H jump either. That was a great opportunity. Hopefully neither runner takes damage. They cannot afford it. After going through World 2 and World 3. This is not something they can afford. Very nice. Uh, their timers stopped? Okay, I'll fix. This is a great time to fix them. Apparently their timers stopped. Very nice, very nice. Gungeon didn't get the frame jump? Are you positive? I'm I'm quite sure that that he got it. Uh, this is a repeat, Dom. Alright, no frame jump then. Then Bagler's ahead by one. Alright. Uh, neither runner is on their way. Bagler does get the frame throne jump, though. Well, it's not a frame jump, but yeah. All right, runners, don't lose your fire flower on Wendy, please. Gungeon Lover's good. Bagler is also good. Very nice. I am aware that Bagler got the third throne. I have it marked down as three jumps. Uh. All right, going on to world four. Going on to world four, very nice. Oof. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, Gungeon, get in there. All right, bottom route. Nice, do the shell strat. I'm not a fan of that big jump. I'm not sure why people do that that big jump there. Oh! Nope, he's not going to be able to keep it. Doesn't keep it. Bagler does, on the other hand. Bagler's going to get that point. Damn, man, that is an easy point. It's that big jump. I don't know why people do that big jump. That doesn't make any sense to me. Everyone keeps hitting their feet on that pipe, and it causes them to not get good P-speed with the, with the collision of the two shells. 
And that's nothing I've ever done, so I don't know where that idea came from that people are doing big jumps, but everyone does it. I would highly recommend to stop doing big jumps there. Because hitting that pipe definitely changes how your P-Speed works in that section. But, Gungeon Lover's still in the lead, so not a big deal, it's okay. Shit happens, right? It- it all happens. Alright. No marathon, both- both entering a level. Bagler's gonna get his cloud early, that's really good for RNG. That's really good for RNG. Nice. Oh, yes, he does keep it nice. It looks like he has made that mistake before. Right? If you get, like, deflated P-Speed there, you can actually keep your P-Speed as long as you get a good jump after. Which is normally just, like, you know, running across. Gungeon with an amazing 4-3. Good job. Very good job. Bagler gonna come up with another amazing... Nice! Both runners did the exact same. Gungeon is gonna have to do the fortress, but Bagler gets to skip it. Bagler does get to skip this, so Gungeon should probably try and do it fast, but a shortcut... Nice, he's gonna wait here, and this is where Bagler's gonna catch up. No marathon from either runner yet. And just like that, we'll go ahead and switch the audios. And switch the audios back to the Bagler. Very nice, is he gonna get sniped? We hope not. Nice, working on his duck strats for next level. Very nice. Gungeon Lover getting a movement of four, almost a marathon, but not quite. Very unfortunate, he's just way too close. Let's see if he gets it, let's see what he gets here. Ah, oh, not quite. He was close, nice. Oh, he doesn't get the P-Speed. Bagler with the duck jumps here. Oh! He's gonna go for... Oh, and he takes damage! He takes the death! What just happened? What just happened? And now he has to use a music box and a fire flower. Very, very weird situation for the Bagler there. Gungeon not getting a marathon, but he does get to go without a music box for now. Bagler gets one try only. He had already messed it up. Remember, everything is one try only. We fixed the rules, so he's not going to be awarded that point. Although he does show that he can do it, which is good. All right, and Gungeon Lover does get it. So that is very nice there. Gungeon Lover's going to have to use the music box now. He does have extras. And just like that, they're tied in points. Bagler is gonna have to fight a Hammer Brother here, and this is the P-Wing. Very, very lucky for him. Very, very lucky. That is scary. That is scary, man. If that was the star, his whole World 3 plan would've been over. But Gungeon, not having the extra P-Wing, what's he gonna do here? Both in the- oh, and Bagler doesn't get thrown jump. Very unfortunate. Well, just like that, and look at how close these racers are. Look at how close these racers are. Man, oh man, this race. This race is nutty. How you guys doing in chat? How you guys feeling? I am great. Doing good, right on, guys. Oh no, Bagler, don't go down there. It is not fun down there. Yeah, I don't like it down there. That is interesting. Bagler taking the death and not getting the point there. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Moving on to World 5, though. 
And uh, Bagler having the extra P-Wing means he might not use the music box in 5-1, which means he's got to keep his Fire Flower for all of World 5. Very scary. He's allowed to equip something to, lo to lose it, but we don't know. We haven't seen him do be in this situation yet. All right, because normally the extra P-Wing would mean that you wouldn't need to do 5-1. Or you you do five one anyways, get the music box. Oh no. Well, he's not entering world five with it, so that's good. He's still in world four. Nice. Very close, these two runners. Holy crap. Does anyone know why Bagler? Has been doing frog suit and not practicing for the turn. I thought he was like super in. I thought he was super into the tournament. I've been seeing him do a lot of frog suit and not a lot of points practice. Overconfidence, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how these runners work. I'm just the middleman. I'm the guy in between the two runners. Just talking about it. Yes, they're both going to use the P-Wing. Very nice. Very nice fly in 5-1. Hopefully Gungeon Lover doesn't slow down a little bit from this. Nice. He does also get it as well. Very nice. All right, here we go. All right, this is it. Bagler almost missed that jump right there, but he does secure it. Oh, and Gungeon is not gonna be able to get the points. Very unfortunate, 282 for the Bagler, very nice. Bagley doesn't need to practice, okay guys? He doesn't need to practice. However, he is going to get what sounded like a movement of three, actually. So we'll see about that. Dungeon Lover also would appear to be a movement of three. Gungeon Lover does do this music bot or this mushroom house. Yes, he does it because he wants the Tanuki. For seven four one, if I remember correctly. All right, Gunshin is going to music box here. Yep, he's gonna music box, and he got a movement of two there, so we can tell if he got a movement of four. If he does have a movement of four, it would only be one. Had it been two, the Hammer Brother would have been out of there. So we'll see. We shall see. He was almost in coin ship territory. Oh! Gungeon Lover with a movement of one, so he couldn't, he couldn't have got a movement of four earlier. But he is gonna get the P-Wing here. Bagler did not get a movement of four. He has not got a movement of four yet. Gonna go for the big jump, and he does make it. Very nice. Bagler having an amazing World 5 so far. Having an amazing World 5 so far. All Gungeon Lover has to do is not let up. He doesn't have to win in time. He's just gotta not let up. Another movement of two for Bagler. Still no movement of four from our single runner here. Bagler gets early P speed. So this is going to be a very good World 5 for Bagler. And like I said before, Gungeon Lover's got to not let up here. Not let him take it. You know your strats, Gungeon. To, Gungeon is doing very well right now, so he's got to make sure. All right, here we go. This is a very scary point. This point can rule the game, the whole thing. I don't think so. Yes, he knows. Yes, very nice for Gungeon. That was a, that was a great play. 
I also thought he wasn't going to make it, and that is not worth the death. Bagler losing his Fire Flower, getting the point taken away from him. Gungeon Lover needs to get early P-Speed, so neither runner gets the point here. And he does get it! Neither runner gets the point! The power plays here! The power plays! This is crazy! Still no movements of four from either runner. Damn, oh damn. Movement of two. Movement of two. Yes. I wonder if Gungeon is not going to go for Fire Flower here. Mm, looks like he is. Looks like he is not. Very nice. Yeah, he's going to have to take a slow here, though. Very scary. Um, there's, there's one thing in speedrunning where if you get fully comfortable with how to do a level speed running and then you gets you get very good at it it becomes very easy when you when you eventually mess it up and you will you'll always mess up every level sometimes you don't know exactly how to fix the mistake oh wow gungeon lover does not need to go for the music box here as he fought the hammer brothers below very interesting plays here oh the bagler has to do the auto scroller if i remember correctly the Bagler has to do the auto-scroller. I hope he doesn't default Cloud here. Because he's on a roll. I really hope he doesn't. <gasps> oh no! Did that just happen? Well, it's either World 7 Auto Scroller. It's either World se He's either got to do 7 4 or 7 4 2. Or 7 9. So I'm assuming he's going to cloud 7 4 2. Very nice from Gungeon Lover. You got to hope that nobody's running around telling these players. What, any mistakes or anything? We ain't want no cheaters. If I was Bagler, I would still cloud 7-4. So Gungeon Lover not getting any points in World 5. Um, one of them is because he did get early P-Speed, but so did his opponent. But... Bagler died and lost Fire Flower, so two-point loss there for Bagler. Very unfortunate. 7-4 is like a minute and 40 seconds or so or something. It's a long time. But he is down a cloud. And I don't think he's aware of it, which means he's not listening to the stream, and which means no little sneaks are running around saying things that they shouldn't. That's what keeps a race good, man. No spoilies, right? No spoilies. Gungeon Lover should not be going for a fire kill here. But he's going to. Nice. Very nice. What big jump point? Alright, he's going to go in his menu. He's got no clouds. He's got no clouds. He gets... All right, his first point is top point. His first hammer brother is top point. He's gonna use a P-Wing here, not bad. He does have an extra one, why not, right? Got the hammer, very nice. All right, Gungeon Lever coming through. Oh yeah, that's right. I. Yeah, never mind. Bagler should have a cloud. That's right. Uh oh! Oh no, two death. 
This isn't the bagler from round one, is it? This isn't the bagler from round one. What was what was Gungeon Lover's first hammer brother? All right, no flowers, Bagler. No flowers. Come on, bud. No flowers. You cannot afford to lose any more points. No flowers, Bagler. Gungeon's catching up. Very nice. Gungeon almost dying in the same level. Yeah, Bagler does have a cloud. I forgot. He used the cloud to get a cloud to use a cloud. He's fine. Yeah. I got confused. I got. I thought he used the cloud to cross over, use the cloud again. And then he's out of cloud, but never mind. Just ignore me. Bagler gonna go for the despawn spot. Very nice despawn strategy. Yeah, what was Gungeon Lover's first hammer brother in World 6? I know Bagler's was high pattern. Bagler needs a low pattern here. Gungeon got low, Bagler got high. <laughs> You're gonna have to respawn the Koopa, very nice. Oh, Bagler gets two high patterns. RNG not on his side. Oh, when he gets bad RNG, he's gonna use a music box. He's gonna have to do an extra level in World 7 now. And now his clouds have been restored. Yes, the restored cloud. So Gungeon Lover apparently got low pattern. For his first hammer brother, very nice. He's gonna go for the hammer suit strategies. Unfortunately, guys, getting the hammer suit in the mushroom house and using it on Bowser at the end is not faster. It is easier, though, but it is not faster. Oh, and Gungeon gets high and low, and just like that, he's taking the lead in points. Wow. Both runners putting on a, a great run, man. This is a really good run. Ooh, Gungeon is also going to have to do the extra level in World 7. A very interesting race. Neither runner has the leaf for 6-8, though, so not going to be able to utilize that. Oh, Gungeon Lover making a good choice here to back out. Don't blame him. That was a weird P-Speed build. All right, this is going to be a battle. This, guys, it's going to be a battle of the wall jumps. Looks like it. Now, Bagler's good, man. I know he can get first try wall jump. I know he can get it. I've seen him do it before. He might get it right here. Oh, he had it! He got the clip! Missed the A input, though. Now he's not getting the clip. He got the clip! If he jumped properly, he would have got a first try. There we go. He gets it, about, I think, about a fifth try or so. Gungeon taking a, a very weird damage boost strategy. Oof, not... Not particularly the best idea there. I mean, you could run and damage boost, get P-Speed, then damage at the end for safety, which I think is the more important thing. But, like I said before, it's what people are comfortable with, right? And that's all that matters. That's what's important. Dungeon Gungeon Lover did not have a leaf. No, neither runner had their leaf. Oh, Bagler almost gets it. Gungeon Lover, gonna use a P-Wing here. It's gonna catch up in time. Very nice, very nice. Gungeon Lover also going to try for the clip. This is big. That clip will put him well into the lead. He got it. Like, well into the lead. He could lose in time and still win the race. Oh, neither runner getting the clip. Unfortunate. Bagley going to use the Fire Flower before the Fortress. Very nice. All right. Both these runners doing a great job, man. Great job. Nice, good, good kill on the Bam Bam. All right, and just like that. All right, neither runner got an inventory star, bro, if I remember correctly. Neither runner got inventory star. Neither runner got wall jump, had a leaf. Gungeon did not get high and low. He got he got high and high. Uh, or no, Gungeon got high and low. Bagler did not. All right, moving on to world seven. Very 
nice. Gungeon going for season two points. Oh, we've seen somebody die in that little pit there. All right, Bagula's gonna be the first. He's gonna go for a nice fire kill, very nice. He's gonna go for sub pixel manipulation. Oh, and he gets it, very nice. I don't know how hard he pressed left, but that looked like a very good sub pixel 15 to me. That looked like a very good sub pixel 15 to me. Gungeon Lover gonna go for the jumps. Does he go for sub pixel manip? I mean, he did, but I don't know. Man, you guys are crazy. Subpixel 15 and 14 subpixel manipulation is not... It, it's... It's not a, a beginner strat. Not that you guys are beginners, but like, it's an advanced subpixel manipulation. And I am surprised at how many runners are actually trying to get subpixel 14 and 15. It is not easy. It is a very difficult thing. But I guess a lot of people hate the duck clip. 14 and 15 minip is a scam, that's right. It, it is not, it is cheap. It is a very cheap. And duck jumps suck, I agree. I'm. That's why I do it. Gungeon Lover, I am not comfortable with it. Gungeon Lover's speed rebuild. He's got a, I always feel like more speed is just gonna help you a little bit in the long run. And we can't guarantee, and there you go, he gets it. As soon as I go to say we can't guarantee, he nails it, very nice. Bagler gets it as well. Ooh, not pipe to pipe. He tried though, he wanted it. We all wanted pipe to pipe. I think they both got in the same amount of tries. Now Gungeon here is gonna use a star. I think both runners are gonna use a star here. Yes, he's gonna use a star, very nice. Bagler in a very uncomfortable position as small Mario. It makes, it, this level doesn't change in difficulty, but it does make it a little more scary, right? Nice, Gungeon Lover doing great. Oh no, Gungeon Lover's gotta go slow here. Nice, oh, it's a good thing he didn't jump. Bagler getting a 293, very nice. So he's not gonna get punished. Did Gungeon just do pipe to pipe? I think he did. Very nice pipe to pipe strat. No bumps yet from either runner. Oh no! To be punished in this level is the worst. All right, Bagler's gonna go for the 183. Oh, losing a point in this level. Gonna take damage, 85, 84, 83, 83. Very nice. Very nice for Bagler. And unfortunate, 286. Damn, that's what happens. Bagler's gonna go for first try clip here. Oh, bad sub pixel. Bad sub pixel. No bumps or bonks yet for me. The runner Bagler does get a third try though. Very nice. Dungeon Lover gonna go for the 183 strategies. He does need it very badly. Man, these guys are good at that strategy. That's not easy. Oh, he pressed B. If you tail swipe, you cannot go in pipes. That's how the game works. He's not going to be awarded this point, unfortunately. He tail swiped, so his up input didn't work. No bumps or bonks yet. Neither runner bumping or bonking. No first try clip for me, the runner, though. Bagler gonna go for it. Oof. Yeah, first try, but he's stuck. He's stuck in jail right now. Oh, come on. Come on, Bagley. Come on, Bagley. Very nice second try. Is he gonna opt out? Yes, he's out. Well, he's gonna go for mid clip first. Uh, you gotta go for one mid clip at least, right?
Gungeon Lover wants to keep his tail so he can use it in the level that Bagler's in right now. Not a bad strategy. I like it. Oh, Bagler's got to do this without a star. Very scary. Oh, and that's what I was afraid of. That definitely happens. Oh no, he took damage. He's already used his cloud. He cannot afford to die here. Oh man, that was way too scary. That was way too scary. He cannot afford it. No bonks yet for me, the runner. Oh, Gungeon almost gets mid clip. Just like that. World 8 for Bagley. Is Gungeon going to go for Fire Flower? He should because he does have to do the Piranha Plant. Come on, come on, Gungeon Lover. Don't run out of steam just yet, dude. Don't run out of steam just yet. <sighs> All right, he does not have a music box, so he's gonna have to cloud here and be very careful in Piranha Plant. No bumps. No bumps or box. Nice, Gungeon Lover has been practicing this level. So I like to see the, the what ifs and runs. No bumps or bonks as well. Boom. No lifelines yet from either runner. That's good. No lifelines yet from either runner. That is good. Very nice. They are very close. The hands, I don't think so. We, we're not quite in hands range. Um, but we will see what kind of time we're at uh, when Bagler grabs the wand. We'll see what kind of time we're at when Bagler grabs the wand. Let the voice rest a little bit. Take a sip of my Red Bull. Oh wow, it looks like it looks like we are in hands ten territory. All right, let's see. Bagler is gonna grab the wand at forty six. Uh, what do we say? Forty two. I'm guessing. Close. Forty six. Forty one. Bagler grabbed the wand. So let's remember that. Let's not forget. Forty six. Forty one. So right here, we're about 10 seconds behind. All right. We're about 20 seconds behind. We're about a hand, one hand behind so far. Okay. We're at 30 seconds behind. Okay, we're about 40 seconds behind right here. All right, we are about 50 seconds. We're about two and a half. Oh man, we're in hands territory. <laughs> Bagler gets all three, Gungeon Lover gets zero. He will actually take the lead, but Bagler's not gonna get three hands because I know Bagler. Bagler won't mess us up. Bagler's too good. Me and Bagley go way back. To a time once forgotten, all the way back. Ooh, auto scroll. I'm all I'm doing is just running through my head like the points and, and everything that can go on. This is way too close. No runner has used their lifeline yet. They're, they want to see the results of race one. 
Uh oh, Bagler in an awkward position here, holding holding bombs. He's gonna want to watch out for those. The hand RNG in this tournament has been ridiculously stacked towards uh, no hands, which is crazy, man. Bagler getting pretty good RNG there. Yo, me and Dungeon Lover go way back too, okay? It's not just me and Bagley. I go way back with all the runners. I cannot be biased as commentary, right? So I, as I do co commentary, all runners are amazing and all runners suck at the same time. It's all equal. Right? I can be impressed, and whatever the opposite of impressed is, I can also be by these runners. But like I said, all of all me and all of these runners have a history in Paris. You know? Yeah, I can be impressed and disgusted at the same time. Depressed. Yes. All right, Gungeon Lover getting the same RNG, so no time difference here. Ooh, a little slow on that chest grab. A little slow on that chest grab there. All right, here we go. This is too intense. I can't handle it. They're so close in terms of race. Like, let, let's see. Okay, Gungeon gets second. That's it. 9 to 11, right? That's all we have so far. That is still way too close. Right? We we start every race off with each player having four points, assumed that they each get first place under 60 and they haven't died. So it starts in first place. One hand that is going to make it a little too hard for Gungeon. That is gonna make it a little too hard for Gungeon Lover here to catch up. Nice, Bagley in a good situation here. Gungeon can still catch up in time if he gets one no hands too, right? I mean it's still But Bagler is making it very difficult for him. Luckily, he's in a situation here where it, it's not going to hurt too much. He's already behind in time to the point where it's assumed he's going to get second place, but we don't know exactly how this is going to go. I don't want Gungeon Lover to get no hands and get spooked in the Air Force, right? That can definitely happen. No hands in a race. He might assume getting no hands that he's, he's winning, right? It's very scary. So let's see how it goes. Oh, the Nintendo Switch screwed me around, man. Oh, the Nintendo Switch. So for anyone who doesn't know, on the Nintendo Switch, when you get pulled in by the hands, it doesn't do the flashing animation. Alright, one hand. One hand for Gungeon. That's all. Ooh, almost clipping there. Very nice. One hand. Come on. Ah, oh, two hands. Eh, pretty standard, though. Not the worst. Alright, here we go. Both runners are entering combo point range. Combo point range. Bagley's gonna use a star here, very nice. Gungeon Lover's gonna be on the Air Force. Try and go for his P-Speed, very nice, doesn't lose it. He's in a really good position here. Oh, almost didn't land on that turtle. And he does get it. Looks like Bagler is going to get the, the combo point here. A, most runners are very good at 8-2. 8-1 seems to be the harder one. But the combo point. The no mess-ups. None. Nice. Gonna go for the damage boost strategy. The big jump. Very nice. He does get it. Combo baby. Can use sleeve here. Take damage, that's okay. He cannot afford to lose Fire Flower here. Not at this point. He's gonna go for Conveyor P Speed. And he does get it! Wow, very nice. 
All right, Gungeon Lover, you really got to pull out the stops here. World 8 cannot be the difference. Oh, Gungeon Lover doing good. He needs 289. Wow, and he gets it. 289, and Bagler finishes off. Both runners, amazing. All right, Gungeon. 8-2, you got this. Nice, Bagler is about to enter the the last, what, Tank Brigade? Tank Brigade 2. Nice, he's gonna go for the big jump, big jump. Damage boost strats. Two ninety two, and he gets it. Wow, very nice. He's not giving Bagler an edge, dude. He's not giving Bagler an edge. He does have to get conveyor P speed though. That's very important. Oof, he's he's scared now. You can tell, you can see the nerves. There's a lot of flow to these jumps, and he's breaking the flow a little bit. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he had it. He had it, but didn't didn't get it. Evidently not. He had it. That was close. I think he's getting a little... Ner oh! He's going to have to double cycle. But as long as he doesn't die, he's okay. Right? As long as he doesn't die, he's okay. Like, he's doing good. He's doing great. Oof. He, he can't afford to lose Fire Flower either. He does have enough time, though. All right. He's in there. Very nice. All right, and Bagler is going to be the first one to go up against Bowser. He doesn't have a hammer suit or anything, so he's just going to have to go for it here. Gungeon entering the last tank as well. My hands are sweaty, guys. Bagler going to go for the clip. I don't know if Bagler thinks he has this game at ease, because he definitely doesn't. 13 to 10, he's only three points ahead. I mean, in terms of time, why not go for the clips, right? He's in there. Ooh, double Karua right there. All right, as long as duck jump input works, statue room should be okay. Looking good, very nice. Ooh, the fade turn back, love it. Missing the fireball. Oh, the double fireball miss? Ooh, that was close. That was close. So Bagler is going to tie it in. First race. Very nice. GG's to Bagler, guys. GG's to Bagler. He's going to finish the race with a 56. 39. Very nice. Gungeon Lever coming in hot. And that's giving the second place. Gungeon Lover does have the hammer suit. I love Gungeon Lover's Echo. It's too good. Very nice Bowser clip. We got P-Speed. Very nice. Oh, he doesn't quite get it. Did go for the slightly more advanced strategy. You do have to do, oh my gosh, he almost took damage there. That was way too much. Oh, <gasps> what is, what? I think he missed an input, I don't even know. Very nice. Bowser's just down for the count. Very close to both of our runners. Give these guys a five minute break. 10 to 13, guys. 10 to 13 from both of our runners. That's insane. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, yep, we got 10 to 13. Uh, let me know if there's any points that you feel were missed or anything that's going on. I don't think anything got missed there. Very nice.
Yes, there is time brackets. That is correct. See, these runners have to say. Trying to find the Google Doc about the rules type exclamation tournament, man. I got it right in my title. Boo boo. Boo 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 boo. Boo 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 boo. Boo 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 boo. Ba 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 ba. Where did Gunjin lose his fire flower in World 5? Sharshid, every race. Every race. You're always up. You're always up in the business. He didn't he didn't lose it in World 5. He didn't lose his fire flower. Letting these runners take a little break there, guys. I suggest everyone do the same. That was a really good race. I like that one. Yep, you have to get under 54 minutes if you want extra points for time.
What do you guys think's for dinner tonight? I don't, I don't know what's for dinner. I have no idea. Oh, is that so, Blairy Stone? Is that what you do? Is that in your spare time? It's unfortunate. Hold on a sec. We're getting we're getting Gungeon Lover to uh, fix the crop here. Hold on, we're just working with Gungeon Lover a little bit here. Yo, Kayferg, thank you very much for the six months. Welcome back.
All right, I gotta resize this now. Sorry, I tried to help Gungeon Lover with his uh, canvas size, but this is okay. Actually, kind of a little bit better here. Gives us a bit, of, a bit more in depth of Gungeon. Okay. All right, are you guys ready? Is Twitch chat ready? Sorry, I was, I was trying to help Gungeon Lover with his canvas and stuff like that, and then he did something that I hadn't particularly said to do, so it kind of messed everything up, but it's fixed now, so we're good. We're good. Woo! All right, you guys ready? All right. All right, both runners are ready. All right. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, here they go. Who's gonna start first? Wow, the same. All right, we're gonna start with Bagler's audio here. He's slightly ahead here. Is he gonna go for frog suit 1-1? One, one? That's the question. Is he gonna frog suit 1-1? One, one? Oh, he's gonna go for task 1-1 one, one here. Oh, Gungeon, what's happening? Oh, and he took damage. That's okay. We've seen worse things in 1-1, one, one, guys. We have seen worse things in 1-1, one, one, so it's okay. Luckily, the Bagler had a slow 1-1 one, one as well, so that's not so bad. It's not so bad. All right, Bagler getting the P-Speed in 1-2, Gungeon Lover. Not gonna get early P-Speed. Most of the time, early P-Speed in 1-2 is random anyways, so no big deal. No big deal, nice. Gungeon Lover's gonna go for the Leaf here. Both runners are familiar with the lifeline, so that's right. That's right. Bagler not gonna go for the orb jump. Very nice, he gets the tail, the tail quick grab. Very nice on Gungeon's side. Gonna go for the P-Speed, nice. He's gonna get the fly up. Bagler again, getting the early hammer brother here. Or I think it might have been Gungeon last time. Not quite sure. Oh, they're both gonna get it. Very nice. All right, who's gonna get MFP Tunnel? That's the question. That's more important than what the Hammer Brother does. The MFP Tunnel. Oh, missing it. Oh, no. Not gonna be able to get the MFP Tunnel. He didn't even get a chance, like an attempt to try because the, the jump before. Going over that turtle can sometimes suck if you're not ready for it. Oh, Gungeon Lover not doing a turn back. He had it. He had it. it the loss in turn back got him. He just went straight forward. He definitely had to do a little turn back there, but not a big deal. It's a hey, MFP tunnel is not easy. So both runners giving it a try is amazing. Very nice getting a mushroom there. That, that card can sometimes give you uh, flowers. Very nice, Gungeon Lover also getting P-Speed here. Oh, he panicked! The panic! Unfortunately, he's gonna have to take a death point for that one. The Bagler getting a Fire Flower again, not gonna quite secure that leaf. Oh, and Gungeon Lover taking another death right there in 1-6. You know, that's not the first person in the tournament to take a death right there. That is very unfortunate. That is going to make for a very tough game too. Gungeon Lover needs to get the leaf here. He needs to get the leaf here. He's because he's got to he's got to get some RNG points to really catch up here. He's gonna go for the leaf here. Come on, RNG, let's go. Come on, RNG. Yes, RNG comes back. Very nice. So that is a free point later on for him that he's going to get that Bagler is not going to get. Very nice. Combined with a possible, combined with a possible um, lifeline. Combined with a possible lifeline. Uh, 
Did Bagler? Oh no, Bagler. Very nice. Uh, so Gungeon Lover didn't get Throne Jump. Um, I'm guessing Bagler also didn't get Throne Jump, but I feel like Bagler did get Throne Jump. Bagler's good at the Throne Jumps. For the most part, Bagler does get Throne Jump, so I'm not entirely sure what's going down. Here we go, entering world two. Here we go. Okay, nice Gungeon Lover dusting off the two deaths. You love to see that. He's got to get his confidence on the rise here. Not worry about it at all. He's still in a good position. He doesn't have to worry too much. It is going to hurt a lot, but worrying about it at the start of a tournament and a race is not going to help you at all. All right, neither runner getting a tunnel. All right, Bagler gonna go for the spade card game. Very nice, does get the point. Still waiting to find out if the Bagler got thrown jump, but we can we can worry about that later, of course. Because he's got six more to do. Is Gungeon Lover gonna do the music note? Yes, apparently that is Gungeon Lover's strategy. I love that. It's a very nice strategy. Oh, the Bagler almost, almost fell in the moat. That was way too close. That was way too close. All right, Gungeon getting to move it to. Gungeon is going to go for the points as well. Go for the spade card game. Gets Flower one up. He's going to have to grab. He's going to have to look at his cheat sheet. Hopefully he doesn't mess up here. Looking good. And he gets it. Very nice. Very nice. All right, off to world two. Bagler, very nice first room in the fortress. Gungeon gonna finish up the card here. And he's out of there. In the level, let's go. Yeah, no throne jump for either runner. We gotta make sure Gungeon does not fall in the mode of tears. A little bit better than Bagler there. That was, that was a little scary for Bagler, the position he was in. All right, Bagler's first hammer brother here, forward or backwards? Forward, so he's not gonna be getting that point. The RNG points have not been kind to Bagler. Nice Gungeon gonna go for his backup P-Speed. And the Bagler gonna go for Red Rocket. Oh, he doesn't get his P-Speed back. Oh no! He's gonna have to do... Oh, dang it. You know what he could have done though? It's very possible he could have done like a mid-air shell jump. Right, he could have done a mid-air shell jump and then grabbed the shell or thrown it and stomped it. I mean, as long as you use the red shell in there, that's what's important. Uh, standing there for a second. I've not seen that one before. All right, Gungeon Lover gonna go for the Red Rocket strat here. Oh no! Why did he jump there? Why? Oh man. Without those deaths and, and that silly mistake there with the red shell, Gungeon could be in the lead right now. Especially with Lifeline, too. No Lifelines used yet, though, guys. Alright, Gungeon Lover coming up to the sun level. Oh, very unfortunate for that red shell. Nice try, though. You never know what happens, man. You never know. Bagler already had forward moving bro, so this back moving bro is not gonna help him. We can still mark it down though. We can still mark it down. Nice, both Hammer Brothers are very close to each other. That is good for Gungeon. <gasps> Bagler gonna have, probably have a better pyramid than last time. 
Ooh, almost not. Nice, he does make it. All right, Gungeon Lover gets. Backwards moving, bro. I swear, man. Gungeon's getting hit with all the RNG points and he's not securing the red rocket and dying two times. No. This is it. If it moves backwards, it does move backwards. This is... Come on, man. This is, this is kind of unfortunate. This is kind of unfortunate. He would be tied right now for points within game one and two that those early game deaths, but there's not much you can do about it, right? It happens. It happens. He's getting more points though. Neither runner has lost their fire flower as well. Nice, he goes, <laughs> he goes for the fire shot, but the piranha plant was like, I'm not coming out. What is in those crates? And just like that, Bagler is just about going to be done with the airship while Gungeon Lover is getting on the airship. So we're going to see when Bagler grabs the wand. Uh, how much time behind, but it's looking like a little bit over a minute, I'd say. Pretty close to a minute. Dang auto-scrollers. Alright, see if he goes for fire kill. He knows Warpless, so he should know the fire kill. Very nice. He grabs the wand at 10.35. 10.35 wand grab. Very nice. What was it, 1035 one grab? Ooh, less than, less than a minute behind. That's good, that's much better. All right, Bagler needs to get the jump. Oh, and he doesn't get it, very unfortunate. Nice, Gungeon Lover is 50, 50 or 45 seconds behind. He's only 45 seconds behind. Water in the crates. Bowser's shipping water from World 2 to World 3. Bagler almost in runaway bro range. Ooh, he almost fell in the water there. That was way too close. Ah, oh, Gungeon Lover not getting the jump. That was an opportunity. Technically, they're tied in points this game because Gungeon Lover has the leaf. Ooh, not getting run away for Bagler. Very nice fire shot from the Bagler. I call him Baglor. Nice, avoiding coin ship and Gungeon in runaway bro range. Come on, Bagler, keep up that speed, man. Gungeon's getting points. You're gonna get the speed, Bagler. You got this. And Gungeon Lover, you keep getting those points. You got this too. Bagler in runaway bro range again. Oh, Bagler not getting door four. Very unfortunate. Gungeon Lover getting Runaway Bro. Just like that. Just like that. Come on, Bagley, you need to get RNG points. Oh no, don't take damage! Way too risky. Yeah, take it easy. It's not a big, it's not even that big of a deal. Bagley also getting Runaway Bro. Very nice. Very nice. You'll never take me. All right, what do we got here?
Gungeon Lover in a good situation here. I think that was a movement of two. All right, door four. Oh, oh, Bagler in a very uncomfortable position. This is gonna cause him to get an inventory star. That's not what he needs. Unless he uses a music box here, which he might. He hasn't had to use one yet. I think he's gonna use a music box. That would make sense. I think it would make sense. I never know what makes sense. All right, Gungeon Lover also on his way. Yeah, he's got a music box him. It's gonna be weird to see someone enter world four. Bagler almost losing his fire flower there. Very nice. Gungeon Lover is going to be able to keep his music box. Oh, that was scary on Gungeon's side. Nice, and Bagler is out of there. Unfortunately, Gungeon and Bagler both missed their throne jumps in World 1, so we do not have to worry about the throne jumps. And neither do they, which is pretty good, I guess. Not worrying about throne jumps is a good thing. All right, Gungeon Lover going for the H jump. Let's go. You missed it last time. You got it this time. Nice. Both runners getting the H jump this time. You love to see it. If Gungeon didn't die two times, he'd have seven points right now. And then if he had used his lifeline, he'd have eight points. And it'd be eight to six, which means, I don't know, what it'd be 19 to 18. Very close. Very close. Very close. No lifelines yet though, guys. Both on the airship. That was an intense World 3, but a good World 3. Here we go, Bagley going for the fire kill. Not losing his fire flower in Worlds 2 or 3. Very nice, seven points. Very nice, seven points. Moving on to World 4 for Mr. Bagler. Come on, Gungeon, make that scroller move faster. You don't have time. You don't, there's no time. Gungeon Lover needs a time transplant right now. Or Bagler needs to fall into a hole that doesn't have a secret in it. All right, Bagler gonna go for P speed. He's gonna go for it. Yeah, see, Bagler does it right, man. The non-big jump, very nice. Gets bottom P speed. Uh-oh, Gungeon cannot afford to take damage here. Wow. Way too close. Bottom P-Speed for you. No lost Fire Flower for you. All the points coming out. Very nice. Alright, no Marathon just yet. That's right. Go for the despawn strategy. You want to bounce and shoot that Red Koopa at the same time, and it will despawn the Piranha Plant, which is very nice. Helps you get P-Speed, makes it very easy for you. Remember, the second red turtle shell in 4-2. You want to bounce on it and shoot at the same time, and that will cause one of the plants to despawn. Makes no sense, I love it. Oh, that was definitely a marathon. That was definitely a marathon. Gungeon Lover going for the big jump, does make it, gets P-Speed, and he keeps it, very nice. Very nice, bottom P-Speed for Gungeon. Being as Bagler already got a marathon, let's move over to Gungeon and listen for his movements here. Maybe we can just 
Here, uh, a marathon that would be much easier. All right. All right, you can't get a marathon. Oh, Gungeon Lover goes for it as well. All right, Bagler has a nice 4-3, but now he's on the Fortress. This level's very difficult. Let's see what he's gonna do. Gungeon not shooting Fire Flower forgets that he has ammunition to take out the Piranha Plants. We've seen somebody else make a slight mistake like that early uh, early in the tournament, having Fire Flower forgetting entirely. Uh, Gungeon could have shot the Piranha Plant um, and stayed on the ground, and that would have caused them to be a little safer. Uh, but not being able to do it. Bagler with a very nice fortress. Um, not a normal fire kill, but again, hey man, what's comfortable, right? Oh man, imagine Gungeon Lover used that leaf there. That would be very bad. Gungeon Lover still not getting a marathon yet. He needs a marathon. Oh crap, that sucks. He's gonna have to take bottom right here, which is fine. He had enough room to get P-Speed there. That's the last place to get it. Can't get it here. Very nice. Oof, that jump is scary. Bagler's gonna have to do a late... A late cloud grab. This might cause him to grab this, the, the star here. Hopefully not. Oh, he's forced. Is this the star? No, it's not! Wow! Holy crap, dude. The lucky. The luck on this guy. Insane. Gungeon's gonna have to not equip, I guess. Bagler going for the duck jumps, losing Fire Flower. Going for all the duck jumps here. Nice. Very nice. Don't mess up the last jump. Very nice. Wow, Gungeon with the full, the full World 4 clear. Hard to keep up with that. Gotta use the music box and re-grab Fire Flower. Insane that Bagler got really unlucky with the Force Hammer Brother fight, but at the same time, really lucky that it was the P-Wing and not the Star. No marathon yet for Gungeon Lover. That's what we're listening to his audio. Listen for that marathon. He needs it. Oh, I think he I think he chose not to get peace speed there. He would have had it. I feel like he jumped early though. Oh, nice turn back there. <laughs> Accidentally jumps out of the water there, tried to go for the super swim. Not gonna work. Uh jumping out of the water like that, but hey, gave it a try. That's what it's all about. No marathon, it's gonna put him to sleep, which means he's not going to get a marathon. Very unfortunate. All right, here we go, come on! Duck jumps. Look at that strategy, very nice! Oh, and he stands up! Man, Gungeon Lover is getting RNG points, but he's missing out on the skill points. Well, the Floss and Fire Flower actually is a very skillful point, so never mind. He did get that one. Well, there's a couple points here that he had, man, he had in his pocket. Uh, the one thing to note about Mario 3 is it's easy to run out of steam. I mean, he could have been... but Any racer can be very nervous. Race 1 and, you know, kind of put all, all your, you know energy into the first race and then he starts slowing down halfway through race two. It gets hard. It's hard to play Mario 3 constantly all the time. Very nice. He does get through though and they're both on the airship. Boom. And just like that, both runners are there. You love to see it. I love it. No lifelines yet. No lifelines yet. Just double checking. Mario 3 is not Sonic the Hedgehog. Good, good take. That's a good take. Very nice fire kill, very nice. All right. 
Wow, full clear world four. That is something you never see. That's very good. Very good. Moving on to world five though. Here we go. The Bangler giving us something to watch while Gungeon Lover is on the worst slash best auto scroll in the game. I take it all back, actually. I take it back. Yeah, it's a good thing this isn't season two, because that would be instant loss of a point. Instant. <laughs> Bangler getting stuck in the ceiling. Typical Mario 3 garbage. Mario 3 garbage. But he knew he had to keep holding down when he dropped out of the ceiling to make sure that he, he didn't walk, moonwalk. So that's good. Very nice pipe entry. And obviously he's going to go for the uh, 282. Over the screen wrap tail swipes. It's always a fun time. Doesn't mess up his pipe entry. That's very important. Oh, no! <gasps> Almost takes the death there. Not gonna get it. The opportunities for Gungeon Lover during this race, too, have just been huge. Good opportunity here, though. Now, what is Bagler gonna do? Because we don't see most runners using items... In this world, he's gonna use the mushroom. Very nice. Okay, that's interesting. Very nice on Gungeon Lover's side. Let's see if he gets the quick fly. Does the turn back at speed? Oh, face rubs. That's okay. Bagler lost time there too. No big deal. No movement of four. Hammer Brothers switch. Not good for Bagler. No movement of four for Gungeon either. Nice. Gungeon gonna go for the 82. Let's see if he gets it. He's got to do a low jump here or that. Oh, and he gets it. Wow. Crazy, man. He got it. Very nice. The opportunity, man. Gungeon gets a movement of three, it looked like. We'll find out after. No movement of four for Bagler. Oh, he's opting out for the big jump. We saw Gungeon do the same thing. That's not... That's... Not a big deal. That's that's a good thing, man. If you're not feeling comfortable. Gungeon gonna go for the P-Wing here. Gungeon was in a great position for movements of four. I don't know. I don't know if I would have done that. Bagler getting the early P-Speed with the damage and keeping it. Very nice. Gungeon got a movement of four right there. All right, we're gonna have to see where his Hammer Brother is after this. Gungeon not putting them to sleep. Nope, movement of two for Bagler again. Not getting those moves of four. Gonna have to take his time. It does not want to lose Fire Flower. Huh. Well, we're gonna find out if Gungeon Lover got movements of four or not. Because if he did, he's already got three. The Hammer Brother cannot be, be right on the right side of the fortress. He cannot be. And if he's on the left side, then he got three movements of four. Well, actually, the, the, if he got three movements of four, the Hammer Brother would have to be right beside the castle. It would have to be. If the Hammer Brother is above level six or to the left of the Mushroom House, 
then he for sure was getting movements of three. So there's a very easy way to tell. Being as I can't hear it. <gasps> Gungeon Lover, that was very scary. Bagler still has his Fire Flower, not losing it. He did lose it last race, so hopefully he doesn't lose it this time. And just like that, Gungeon Lover was not getting any movements of four right there. He was getting movements of three. I was able to, I told you. Gungeon Lover needs this point right here. It needs to not be doinking around. He, he, he's got it. He's got it. And he did get it. Big jump. Nine. Man, the unfortunate two deaths. Man. Not getting Red Rocket. Dying two times. Okay, he's got to get P-Speed here. He's got to get P-Speed. No, oh, Gungeon Lover gets the early P speed. Very nice. And that is the shared points right there. The failure of doing something gives somebody else a point. Unfortunate. The RNG has been giving Gungeon some good uh, good opportunities, but it, hey man, whatever happens, happens, right? Let's make it happen, Captain. All right, Gungeon Lover gonna use a star. He's gotta get a Fire Flower here. Oh, that's right, he does not go for Fire Flower here. He gets it on the airship to uh, lower his chances of losing it throughout it. Insane. Insane. Oh God, what did I miss? What did I miss, chat? Somebody complaining? Somebody crying like a baby. Very nice. Bagler does not lose his fire flower. Dungeon Lover making good work of the level. He's almost at a world five. He hasn't got Fire Flower. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, he has a pretty big time disadvantage here on Gungeon Lover's side. Bagler starts off with high pattern. We must remember. And neither runner has gotten a star bro yet, so that's good as well. All right. Bagler's going to use a P-Wing here in this level. That's two times. Is this a new strat? Did he use a P-Wing last race? I feel like he didn't. No, Gungeon Lover's speed is HDMI because he's playing on the Switch, so that's why it's crispier. Alright, high pattern for Bagler. Alright, Bagler's gonna get revenge here. He died on this level last time. Let's see him not die this time. Oh, he gets early P-Speed. Very nice. And he was prepared for it. He's almost in coin ship range, guys. Nice Gungeon Lover not losing his Fire Flower either. Oh, and he gets low pattern, so he gets high and low. Very nice. The Bagleys. Gonna use a P-Wing here. This is scary. If Bagler hits four blocks here. He's gonna hit two. Oh, three. 
Oh, man. That is, he's very close. Very close to a coin ship. All right, Gungeon Lovers Hammer Brothers are going to be the first one is... Top Pattern, very nice. Okay, Gungeon Lover's not gonna use P-Wing here. I think he's just gonna run off. Yep, he's just gonna run off, very nice. That big jump, man, that gets me every time. I like to run across the top. I don't know why, it just feels more comfortable. Nice, Bagler doing great work. Bagler doesn't have that extra point for this level, so he's not gonna be able to get the point here. Nice, he is, however, gonna go for the wall jump. Gungeon Lover making good work of the 6-4. Not gonna get early P-Speed, but sometimes, honestly, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a much better thing. All right, go for the wall jump first try. He gets the clip. Oh, he gets it first try! And I don't think Gungeon Lover goes for wall jump. That's a good hammer, brother, for Gungeon, and he gets high pattern again. All right, Gungeon's on two high patterns, so unfortunately he's not gonna get that point either. Unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure Gungeon got two highs. He got too high. <laughs> Bagler needs to get the clip here. Oh, hi, he turned around, that's uh... I don't know about that one. Nice, and Bagler is out of world six. He's like, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. Dungeon Lover gonna go get the hammer suit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what kind of strat we're dealing with. Bagler did get wall jump first try. Gungeon Lover is gonna put the Hammer Brothers to sleep. All right, no inventory stars for Bagler. Now let's hope Gungeon Lover does remember to use his leaf here. He has to remember to use his leaf. Don't. Do not forget. Do not forget. Don't forget. Yes, he does use it. Very nice. Okay, yeah, don't forget. That's a good damage boost spot, right? No, don't damage boost there again. That is so scary. Holy kablingy. I wonder why he double damages if he's not gonna go for wall jump first try. Maybe he is this time. Maybe he is. I don't know, we'll see. No, he's not. So there we go, just like that. Wall jump first try for Bagler. Does secure the point. Nice fire kill, and he's gonna go for the... Oh, he, oh man, that, that's the worst. He's not quite sure. When he set it up, he wasn't quite sure, and then, oh, he had to rearrange, and that, that led to uh, that messing up. We've definitely seen that many times. Come on, Gungeon, get the clip. Come on. Oh. Man, I wonder if he didn't do the preemptive jump, he would have been back a pixel. Maybe he would have got it. I'm not a huge fan of the pre-duck the pre -duck jump for the clip, but everyone's different, right? Everyone likes their own thing. So if I was the bagler, I'd probably go for duck clip. Okay, he had, he had to decide, right? He, 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 he had no choice. All right, two wasted. Nice. Nice. So that was his first proper jump. 
All the other jumps haven't been in the right spot. Second proper jump. That was not a good jump. So two jumps so far he's done right. Out of all the jumps so far, only two have been in the corner. Third try, technically. Technically third try, very nice. Luckily he can't get coin ship in this world too. Nice, having Fire Flower allows you to not have to use a star here. Very nice. Oh, the stupid spawn of the plant. Bagler gonna get piped to pipe though. And Gunjin gets a, uh, a season two point. Very nice, season two point for Gunjin. I love it. No bumps yet. No bumps yet. Nice, no punishment here, that's right. Gunjin's gonna go for the stomp kill. Nice, both runners doing a great job. Gunjin, I feel like, pressed left way too hard there. He definitely pressed left way too hard there. Oh man, the left, you guys are nuts. No bonks yet. No bonks. Very nice, gonna go for the 183. That was a low jump, this is going to be tough. I don't know if he's gonna make this. And he does get it, very nice. Gungeon Lover having a little bit of trouble with the wall clip. Hopefully he gets it within a couple tries. Nice, and he does get it, very nice. He definitely got it faster than Bagler. Bagler gonna go for first try, gets it first try! Very nice for Bagler. First try, 16 points right now. Making it really difficult for Gungeon. No bumps yet for Gungeon though. No bumps yet, he just started the world. No bumps for Bagler. Gunshot's gonna have to use a star. Was that a bump? That better not have been. Nice. Both runners have stars at the same time. He's gonna take the damage. He's gonna have to do small, small Mario 7 3. Pipe to pipe, though. I love to see both runners doing pipe to pipe. Bagler getting that backup P speed build. No bumps yet. He's gonna use a mushroom here. All right, come on, Gungeon. I what is it's Gungeon? Your strats? What's going on here, bud? Oh, unfortunate. That's two points. Lost to this level. And Bagler, did Bagler just get first try on both of them? I feel like he did. I feel like he did. Unfortunately, he's gonna get punished there. No, Gungeon, no. My faith. I still believe in my boy, Gungeon. I got me and Bag, me and, me and Bagley go way back and then me and Gungeon. Brothers. Nice, he's gonna have to do this level again. Gets the right jump this time. Very nice, keeps P speed, boom. All right, Gungeon Lover. He's gonna have to do smaller stomps than that. Oh, I don't think that was a good idea. It was a good idea. Oh, delayed. Maybe that gives him the, the right sub pixel. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious, but he does get it, very nice. Oh, that's right, he doesn't go for the clip. That's right. No bonks. No bonks for the no bonks for the Bagleys.
Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, Gungeon getting getting hit by the tail swipe again. Cannot go into the pipes if you're in mid tail swipe. Nice, gets the P-Speed. Bagley very close to that flame there. Watch out, Gunjin. Oh, that was way too close, dude. Nice, Gungeon's gonna do the run forward, fly back, tail strategies, very nice. I like the strategy where you do 7-7, seven, seven, keep tail, and then you use tail on that level. It saves a P-Wing, but also, it's a little safer. Especially if you're in the lead, like, you don't need to do crazy hammer suit, fortress strategies. I mean, I might still do that, I don't know how, you know, you never know how races go, but still, very good. Very nice. All right, Bagler just off the airship, although he is an auto scroller land, so we have a lot to watch on Gungeon Lover's side. No bonks yet for Gungeon Lover. He does have music box and cloud. Just like that, he is out of there. Very nice. Very nice. A lot of points. All right. Time to grab a drink of water. How's chat doing? How you guys doing? I am drinking water, I swear. Only water. Only water. Auto scroller land. All right, hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. I just want to rest my voice. One second. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are having a good time. We are in auto scroller land, so I just had to run quick to my bookie and and put money on this race. So nice, Gungeon Lover. I made it back just in time for him to fight the boss. And ooh, giving the boss a side swipe. And Bagler still has his hammer suit. Last time he did lose it, so he's in a little bit better position than he was last time. Back in the auto scroller land. Nope, you cannot get a coin ship in World uh, Seven or World Eight. There are no Hammer Brothers to give coin ships. Uh, lifelines. Gungeon Lover did lose, did use his lifeline. Gungeon Lover has used his lifeline. Sadly, sadly, not going to 
not going to work a whole lot. Is that chocolate milk? Uh, no, it's dirty water. It can't be chocolate milk, right? It's obviously not milk. We want it to be chocolate milk, because chocolate milk's amazing. Oh, it's a good thing Bagler didn't overkill him. That'd have been scary. Nice. Both runners are definitely on sub-60 pace. Showing a good job there. Bagler coming up. No hands. Oh, hand number one, unfortunately. Do, 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 do. One down, three to go. Don't let him catch you saying that. He does not... He doesn't... We don't want anyone to get hands, right? Ooh. Two down. One to go. Bagler finally getting a coin after three worlds. All right, he gets two hands and they were perfectly synced going into levels there. That's awesome. I love when that happens. Nice. Gets through the airship. What do you guys call it? The Air Force? Air Force! All right, there's two points left for Bagler to snag. Give himself the 19. He's got to use the star. P-Speed Strategies, Gungeon Lover's on his way to the hands now. If he gets no hands, that'll be great for his time, but unfortunately, I don't see how he's going to be able to catch up to Bagler. Um, but well, yeah, I mean... Oh, I pulled him by the first hand. And just like always, the Nintendo Switch, man. Confusing me, always. Oh, losing his P-Speed. Oh, no! I think that's okay, though. He needs to get 291, right? Yeah, he's got it. Oh, one hand for Gungeon Lover. That's amazing. Only one hand. Very good, very good. Nice, right, he's gonna go for Conveyor P-Speed. He just wants to go back in the door, though. Oh, and he doesn't get conveyor P-Speed. Sadly, the Nintendo Switch's emulator is a little bit slower than console, yes. Nobody knows why. Bump on the overworld map. You don't want those bumps. All right, Gungeon, come on, collect these. Get career high, Gungeon. Career high points. The Bagler not using Lifeline. Nice, Gungeon got P-Speed. Oh, the too big turn back. He does get through though. Ooh, he almost took damage there. So risky. I 
I forgot to put a, I forgot to put the no star there for him. I knew I was missing something. Come on, Gungeon, you just need this, you get the combo point. Very nice. Combo point for him. Let's go. Oh, the double damage! He's okay though. He's okay. He got it. He's okay though. He got it. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, now he's just gotta get conveyor P speed here. Come on, career high conveyor peace speed. Come on, Gungeon, you got it, dude. Oh, went for an alternative style. Didn't quite get it though, unfortunately. Very nice. Look at all these points. Holy crap! If he didn't die two times, it still would have actually been pretty rough. Um, but Bagler didn't get conveyor peace speed. Didn't die under sixty, just like that. Very nice. All right, Bagler's gonna be the first one to fight Bowser. He's gonna walk away with a solid 18 points unless something happens here. Oh yeah, he's fine. Bagler's got this. My boy Bagley. Nice. Hammer suit for the win. Always clutching out the hammer suits. Excuse me. Very nice with a 55-34! Very nice. Very nice for Bagley finishing up. Alright, we're gonna switch audios over to Gungeon. Let him finish up his race. With that beautiful, beautiful echo. I love it. Nice, he does have his hammer suit for Bowser. We're looking probably at a 57. 57.40, maybe a 58. 57.40, maybe a 58. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's looking like a 58. Or no, it's looking like a 57. Yeah, 57, sorry. Well, it depends, right? I mean, 57 assumes best, close to best possible. Oh man, I'm not a fan of the stair rub. But it makes it work. Very nice. Doesn't get Karooed, I love it. Come on, Gunji, you got this. We got Bagley's and we got Gunji's. <sighs> That's so risky. He does make it though, he does clear it out. Very nice, guys. Give a GG for both of our runners. Race one was ridiculously close, but unfortunately Gunjin was not able to clutch out a better race two, giving him an opportunity to take the win and move on to round three. The Bagler, on the other hand, is going to move on to round three or fi semi-finals. I never know what it's called. But nice, Gungeon securing a 57-40. Very nice. GG's to both runners, guys. That was awesome. Great race. So looks like it was 12 to 18 for the Bagler. Very nice. All right. Oh yeah, plus lifeline, sorry.
Yo, 13 to 18. That's funny. 23. 23. What is that? Uh, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yes, 23 to 31. Very nice. Very nice. 